Morning everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor. Got another shave of the day for you. And today we're going to be delving into Arco. We're going back with it. Used this before. This is a scent that's uh, like citronella candles or, you know, something like that. It has that citrus kind of scent to it. Very, very rich. Uh, it makes a great lather. Some, I've heard it, some people refer it to as urinal uh, cakes, but eh, it smells like citronella to me. Now, when you uh, lather it up, I forgot to say, it comes in this puck inside, which does come out. See, you got a puck that comes in there. You could lather it up inside the, uh, the little itty bitty bowl. Me personally, I like to bowl lather myself when, if I'm shaving most of the time. And it does make a nice little lather, really nice and thick and rich. And a lot of that uh, citronella smell is still there, but it's still a nice, rich, uh, rich, rich, rich lather. You can see here, it's like, look at that, it's blah, big old blob of it. And all I did was I shaved off maybe a dime size amount and made a nice lather out of it. So that does, 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 does make a great job doing that. We're going to do the Star Razor today with some Permasharp blades. Using the old grandfather's uh, Star Razor again. I already have uh, some uh, Parasso white on here. Appreciate it. I feel that um, menthol working. Face is all nice and cool. All right. Lather this up on the face. Yeah, it smells really good when you got it on the face now. You can see it's nice and thick and rich. It doesn't take very long. It took me 30 seconds to make a bowl of worth. What I did do though was uh, bloom it. So I shaved it off. And uh, start blooming, you know, put a little bit of water in there, enough to soften it up, get it nice and soft. That's why it's so easy to uh, lather it up once it's all bloomed up. So I put that, shaved it off, put it off, and then I got everything set up. So it's about maybe five minutes, four or five minutes of it blooming, and then go to town and just, and it's just like right into a nice lather real quick. So this is the first use of this perma sharp and hear that blade ringing these perma sharps work good for about really good for two two shades with no problem uh you could push it to three or four really to be honest with you but you just need to have some good slickness on the face when you're doing that because when they start getting dull, they start grabbing a little too much. Yeah, gotta make sure that thing's tight. It felt like suddenly it was uh, getting a wee bit aggressive all of a sudden. Hope everybody's weekend was good. And friends come over, went over, did some stuff, and got together doing our usual weekend get-togethers, since we are haven't been in lockdown forever in a day. And say people are not happy. It's like spring's here, weather's nice. We're into sweatshirt, t shirt weather now for spring. And it just depends on the day. If it's a nice sunny day in the 60 degree range, it's felt t shirt weather. After a long cold winter people are happy to be outside 
You know I am. Then again, I've been outside all winter too. That's the nice thing. Enjoy the seasons. Just because it's cold out doesn't mean you can't go outside and get out and about. It's actually good for you. Some fresh air. Mental. Mental health. Nice. Oh yeah, that's the bump I had right here. I did I felt something earlier going across. I must have shaved off the head of it. So one thing, once your nose starts getting used to the scent, you know, the uh, centronella smell is not as pronounced as like your brain starts adjusting to the, the heaviness of it. It is a pretty strong scent though. We're talking probably a six. Or maybe or so when it comes to scent profile for strength. It will, if you're not into really strong stuff like me, this is right on the edge of being probably a little too much. But not overpowering. If you can hear that blade working. This is a nice little razor. If you ever uh, think about it, you can always find, probably find one of these on eBay. If you do a lot of search around, just look up Star Razor. It's a nice little uh, compact. Actually, if you want to get one of these and use it for a travel razor, that would work good. You know, it's like once you break it down, it doesn't have much. It's just like itty bitty thing. Hmm. I'm not really knocking it down. I still got a little bit of heaviness through here. Not so bad on yeah, going that direction, I feel it. Should Just curious what everybody's going to plan on doing with the rest of their week. You know, I have... This week is appointment week for me, for doctors. For all my ailments. It's like, get all your appointments in one week. Get it out and then you go another four months without having to have any more. your battery of tests done and call it good. Well, I still have a whole bunch of lather left over to add to, I could do another pass if I wanted to. That's how much it makes out just in a little bit. It doesn't take a lot of soap to uh, make a bowl of lather. But one thing is, I have to say, is that this soap does dry up fairly quickly. Oh, 
in that case, we'll just add another layer. So I have to get those. I'm trying to get that spiral. Probably take care of it. There we go. That's an important thing to do when you're shaving, especially if you're starting out. This is if you ever if you're new and you happen to come by the channel. Is Mapping your face. Knowing where everything grows, what direction is important. Because you can shave in one direction and if your hair grows that direction, you're just going uh, across the grain basically. So, and I'm doing contortionism back really too. Trying to smooth out your uh, face enough to get a flat surface. Because if your hair is like mine, you got the old swirl. I am going in a lot of different directions just to get it to go. Get it. Yeah, there, yeah if you're one of those people that can go two, three days and having hair on your face doesn't bother you, huh? that's good for you. I am a... I like a smooth every day. Type of person where I like it pretty much baby bond smooth every day. Add some more soap. I think we got her. Always rinse out your your. If you have some water handy. You always rinse out your razor. Makes it easy. Hmm. So I have residual slickness on the face. Not as uh, residual sickness, ah, sick slickness, man, say that 10 times fast. Like if you had the, the sterling, you see all the green tabs. Sterling is pretty slick and keeps the slickness on there. Arco does not have that level of uh, slickness that you're going to have with those or a lot of other soaps. So, I... I'm using all I'm on today because I got that one spot. So that's stinging. Okay, a little stinging on the jawline. 
usual suspect on my lip. I got a couple bumps right up here, and then I got the I just took the head off that bump today. That just kind of tells you the is normally if I'm using let's say an adjustable or the Kingsley Gillette that um, is not as aggressive. This is a little bit more aggressive. This is probably uh, probably around a five on the on a, if you're using a King C, not King C Gillette, but a adjustable uh, like a Black Beauty. I say a level five, almost maybe a six. Kind of tells you how kind of aggressive it is. Okay, well, there it is. Hey, since it's citrus and lots of heavy citrus, we're going to use Old Spice. Now, I could have used the uh, Aqua Velva musk because it has a level of orange citrus in it, too. Not so bad. A little bit of stinging. It's most of the stinging right through here and my on the lip right there otherwise not bad good shade i'm gonna probably down to a quarter of that left have to buy another bottle of old spice yeah that's the nice thing about old spice you can pick it up at the grocery store because it's everywhere all right so today shave was brought to you by arco nice scent nice shave makes a nice lather Use the star razor with some whoop, get that right. Purple sharps. There we go. From sharp blades. Probably use these another one another time and call those for good. That's typically how I use those. They're good for two two good shades. And the third one, you could push them for a third, but yeah, they're cheap. I why 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 mess with it. Okay, hope you guys like it. And like and subscribe, share with friends, and we'll see you in the next one. Rusty out.